you guys. Today I'm going to be telling the story of the story I just wrote. I don't know. I hope you guys like it. I'm not actually that confident. But let's just get started. Let's just get started. The Missing Necklace. Grandpa Hoblin used to stay with two grandchildren, Miss Ross and Mr. Loops. Grandpa Hoblin decided to make a statue in the graveyard after his death. He had a necklace which he did not give to anyone, not even Luke. But Miss Ross wanted it. She was waiting for Hoblin to die. One day, Miss Ross was very happy because Grandpa Hoblin had died at age 96. A statue placed on it. Miss Ross looked the whole house and rooms for a necklace, but she could not find it. She even searched the whole room of Grandpa. She cleared her sweaty face. After a long time, obviously, there will be a lot of shit happens. Okay, and one last warning is that I'm actually Indian. And I'm actually Indian. And I gotta make this video show because I'm about to go to the doctor today. And, like, my appointment is, like, at 12.20 or something. But I'm an Indian girl, so this might be a little, like, Indian possibilities here. So I'm very sorry if that is disturbing you or distracting you. I'm very sorry if that's hurting you individually. She called detective service. No tea and federal detective speaking. What am I calling? It's me, silly detective said Miss Ross rudely. Then it was almost made to never my voice. I run a bad delay. You guys don't know all my family members call me no tea. That's why I actually included myself in, the, in this story. Actually, the idea was given by my dad, and then I started to convert that into a story. Let's see. <coughs> okay, excuse me. Okay, okay, calm down, Auntie dear. What, what's the case? I said, Grandpa Hoblin's necklace is missing. I'm his granddaughter, she said. And don't call me that again. I feel like that's... That Miss Ross is pretty pissed I called her an aunt. Coming in five minutes, I said. Come on, Fedora, wake up! Fedora woke up and we set off her journey to Roger Hut. And I had arrived. I asked, Who made the statue? Miss Ross said, it is, It's none of your business. He's poor Hawkins. Fedora saw a bottle of alcohol in the table. He drank it and vomited. Ugh! I said, Ugh! I think that's too much. I don't know if Fennel loves drinking alcohol. He, he has too many drinks, but I guess I can going to continue on the story. Okay, next is... Uh, Who told you to drink that? I said, wait, was that your mouth, Auntie? Sorry, do not drink alcohol. Nope, it, it, it was not. Said Miss Ross nervously, wetting her own fingers like Tom. I like to quick call Tom from Tom and Jerry. Tom, because my dad is too joking. It's, it's very jokey, and and if I take the advice and call him Tom instead, I want to see the date of that certificate of Grandpa. I will see how has he died. I just want a necklace, said Rost. What will you do with that? Still give that, I said. Death certificate, age 96, okay? Name is Hoblin. And the cause of death is massive heart attack. Let's go. Who is the house physician, I asked. Dr. Hopkins, replied Miss Ross. Thanks anyways, bye, I am. You didn't even solve it, said Ross. It'll take three days, I said. 
First day, he had tried to find Hawkins. Maybe he knew something about Hoblin? You still have certificate? Yes. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. We successfully found him, and he said that the flowers given to Otto Grandpa in the grave is a poisonous flower called okra, which killed many of his workers. Okay, you got it. He then said that those flowers can be found in Miss Ross's room. I immediately knew that Ross was one of the suspects. Hurrah! Not everything I say. Okay, Naughty, you got it. Second day, we went back to the house of Ross and searched her room entirely. Get out of my room! Easy there. Sounds like Hawkins was not wrong. There's an okra vase there. I took a paddle in the petri dish. Let's see. I hope the Halloween story ends. It's going to cheer you up all. But please, please love the story. I'm getting very hopeful here. I'm very emotional too. But anyways, now let's go back to the story. So the story, so next is, I investigated it on a mosquito. And it did not die suddenly. What? But I researched about the flowers. It's still moving. I figured out that it can only be used for slow poisoning. Oh, God. Third day. Last day of the case. Still no finding of the necklace. I did not check the grave. Maybe it's there. Hmm. And then I saw a note. And then I saw a note and the necklace on the statue. It said, I have your necklace, nobody will ever know. I slow poisoned him by Rost. What the heck? This is exactly what I researched. We went back to the detective center and the mosquito I have been putting and the mosquito I've been putting poison on it. It died. That means Rost slow poisoned Hoblin. I again went to their house, showed the but and kept it back and arrested Ross. Let me go! You're arrested. Done! Bingo! And then we went back. The end. Bye! 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 The end. And make sure you guys just like, just like and subscribe. You don't have to, but it would help out to the channel. So bye guys!